everyone, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, subscribe. It is finally summer, which is my favorite season, but it doesn't feel like summer. Like, it's gloomy outside. I don't understand. But I decided what better way to start summer with a new video. And we're going back to the basics. I'm gonna show you guys some closet staples that you should have. If you don't know what closet staples are, it's basically items in your closet that you can pair with a bunch of things. You can mix match a lot. You'd be using it more often than your other pieces. So pretty much, it's just like basic clothes and you guys know I'm the queen of basic. I got a lot of closet staples for you, so let's just get started. Okay, first off, you definitely need tank tops, and those are like in the basic colors. I have black, white, and gray, but obviously you guys can get different ones. I think the most essential one would probably be like white or black. It just depends what you wear more. Personally, I wear white more, so that's why I say white. And then gray is just kind of like another basic that you can throw on. You can match it with so many things. Obviously, it's just a plain tank top, so you can wear these with jeans and then throw on any jacket over. It's just a must-have for your closet. These tank tops are really comfortable. They're ribbed material and they have like a v-neck in the front. A good place to find these is like Target. I'm pretty sure I got these from like the Q store because the Q store has like a lot of basic items. I wear these tank tops all the time, especially like for pajamas or honestly if I'm just like going to Target really quick or I'm just gonna like run a quick errand, I'll just throw these on and just put like some comfy jeans on. Now just for some suggestions, if you guys are not the kind of person that really likes to wear basic tank tops with your outfit, I still think you need at least one nice tank top. So for example, this is like a square neck and then on the bottom it kind of like goes into like a triangle. I think it looks super cute. You can pair it with a bunch of stuff. So I think it's really good to have at least one of these because you can pair these with a really cute skirt or some nice pants and it's definitely more of a top that you would go out in. Next is just a plain t-shirt. I have this one in beige because personally I don't like white t-shirts or black t-shirts but you can totally get black or white. I have it in this color and I think it's really good to just throw on because it's just a basic t-shirt and you can match it with so many things. Again, you can just wear this with jeans, put on some jewelry, call it a day. I know that I always see a lot of girls wear black plain t-shirts all the time as like a closet staple. So black and white would also be a really good one. I just personally don't like t-shirts because I always like get like pick stains or something. I got this shirt at Goodwill so I can't tell you where it's from but the brand is Divide. Next on the list are long sleeves and they are the same exact colors as the tank tops that I showed you guys earlier But except these are bodysuits. They're also ribbed. They have some buttons in the front These are essential to have especially if like you're going on a night out or you're going to dinner But you still want to be comfy. These are gonna make you look snatched I personally love bodysuits for that reason and you can definitely mix match a lot with these kind of shirts The black and the white bodysuit. I got them from Hollister and then the gray bodysuit, I got it from American Eagle. I wear these long sleeves all the time. Like when I have no idea what I want to wear and I'm going somewhere nice, I just throw one of these on and then I just put on one of my nice jeans and then I just throw on like a cute sweater or something. It always works. I swear these are closet staples that you really need to have. Especially if you're a basic girl like me, you need these three colors. Okay, so now when it gets a little bit more chilly at night, you guys are gonna need an actual sweater. So I think just two basic black and white sweaters will do it. These ones have a hoodie, they have a zipper. They're a little bit cropped, but not too cropped. I think it's nice to have like a sweater that's in between. Sometimes you don't wanna wear a super cropped sweater. You just wanna be comfy and you wanna be warm, but also a long one will like cover your shorts and everything. So I think it's really good to have like kind of like a medium one, that one that hits right at your your hips. This white one is so cute. It goes with every single outfit. This is my go-to sweater every time it's like a little chilly outside. I actually love having white sweaters so much that I have way more in my closet right now, but this is just like the essential of what you guys should have. Of course, you can get more. Like for example, I have another one that's like ribbed material or I have another one that's like more knitted material, but this is just your basic cotton material. I think it's really good to have in your closet. I got this one from Fashion Q. And then the black one is the exact 
exact same thing. Same cardigan, literally, I'm not even kidding. I'm pretty sure they're like identical. I got them both at Fashion Q. This one comes in handy too. It's just a plain black sweater. I think it's good to have both black and white because you never know what is gonna go with your outfit. Sometimes I'll put on the white sweater because it goes with my outfit and sometimes I'll put on the black sweater because it goes better with my outfit than the white one would. So no matter how much you prefer one over the other, I think you should still have both colors. You cannot go wrong with having a good old jean jacket in your closet. Whatever you prefer, you can have a more light wash or a more dark wash. I have both of them because, again, I just like to see what the vibe of the outfit is and then see which one looks better. But I think it's really good to have at least one jean jacket in your closet because they just come in handy. Like sometimes you are wearing a dress or a skirt and I think denim jackets go best with those kind of items. I don't really wear them with jeans because I am not too crazy about the jean on jean look but honestly jean on jean is still a look i love the way it looks i just don't wear it i couldn't even tell you where these are from because i got these both at goodwill i got so lucky this dark one is so cute it's actually a levi's jean jacket this is great quality i got this a while ago like maybe like a couple years ago and i found it at goodwill such a gem i wear it all year round in the winter because it's like really thick and it will keep you warm and i usually like throw it over like another sweater but it's also really good to have it in the fall, in the spring, and even the summer because sometimes it gets chilly still. And then the lighter wash, also got it from Goodwill. The brand is Universal Thread in case you guys want to get one like this. This jacket is also really cute. I honestly wear the darker wash more than I wear the lighter wash, but I think it's because I think darker wash looks better in the winter. But this will look really cute in the summer, so I'm probably going to be wearing this more soon. But yeah, like I said, you definitely need at least one jean jacket in your closet. I have the light wash and the dark wash but also if you want to step it up a bit because you know me I love clothes I think it's really really good to have an oversized denim jacket like look how cute this is it is perfect for dresses and skirts especially like mini ones and it's honestly been trending a lot more i don't see people wear fitted denim jackets anymore they're usually wearing oversized ones and i think as long as you make sure that these kind of jackets don't swallow up your outfit and you instead make it as where it can complement your outfit it can look super good you can look way more fashionable i actually just bought this recently at ross by the way like the fact that i found this at ross so i'm really excited to wear it for the summer especially like at the beach because this is like really thin it's not like thick typical denim material denim it's not like thick typical denim material so i think it'd be really cool to wear at the beach like over my bathing suit like that would be so cute so yeah have at least one of these it doesn't matter but you need a denim jacket the next jacket is a leather jacket i'm not holding it right now because i left it at my mom's i just wore it recently and i forgot to bring it back to my dad's but i will have it when i try it on but anyway this is the leather jacket i love this leather jacket so much i got it from amazon it's the same kind of vibe as the denim jacket because it is oversized and it does kind of like go up to the mid thigh in the back this is definitely a closet staple especially for going out the jacket is very warm but it's also kind of on the lighter side it's not as heavy it doesn't really weigh you down because I don't really like traditional leather jackets or like leather blazers but I think this leather jacket specifically is like so thin that you can't even really tell that that's what you're wearing you could pair it with dresses or skirts I don't think I would pair it with jeans but you totally could and also I think this would look really cute with boots or maybe like some high heels it's such a cute jacket you guys need to get one of these Okay, so moving on, I have some basic dresses that I want to show you guys. First, you definitely need just like a plain black dress. You really need it because it doesn't matter what the attire is. Black goes with everything and it can go with any occasion. I think it's really good to have like kind of an in-between, like get a fancy dress, but not too fancy. Um, but also if long dresses are not your thing, you can also get a maxi dress, but just get a regular black dress. You need it in your closet. You're gonna reach for it. I don't wear dresses that much but when I do I always like gravitate towards like just plain black dresses I can't remember if I got this from Windsor or not I feel like I did though I think I did but this dress is really cute it kind of like goes up to almost like the knee a little bit but it does have a slit on the side so you can show a little bit of your leg which I love it is also a v-neck and the material is 
a little bit silkier. Perfect dress for a fancy date night out. Next is you definitely need like a little picnic dress. I think a plain basic one will do. I have a white one and usually I wear this to like a very casual outing. Like it's really hot outside but I still want to look cute and wear a dress. This dress has pockets by the way. Like it's just so cute. I don't remember where I got this. I, I really don't. I wish I did because this dress is so cute and I would definitely get it in another color but I'm so sorry I just don't know where it's from it also has a v-neck and it's a little more flowy rather than on the fitted side this is a good outfit for brunch or just going to the beach uh, a little outfit for Mother's Day I don't know like you could do a lot with this dress and because it's plain you can pair it with so many other jackets super super cute I love it For skirts, I only have a few, but the first one, this one is from Shein. It's just a plain black skirt. Well, actually it's not too plain and that's what I like about it. It does have the little scrunch on the side that kind of brings it up. And then at the bottom, it turns into a little slit. This elevates the skirt so much and the entire look because you are showing a little bit more skin. And again, I think this is a great skirt to pair with that leather jacket that I showed earlier because that's exactly what I did this weekend. I wore this with boots with my leather jacket and then like a cute top but again this is my favorite going out skirt I love it so much and then you also need a maxi skirt I know I've been showing a lot of black and white I still have this skirt in black but I just thought I'd show you guys in a different color because I feel like seeing the same color over and over again might make every single item look the same so uh, here's like a purplish taupish I don't really know the color, but here's like a skirt. It also has a slit. As you can tell, I love slits. I love showing my leg. That's the only way I'll wear anything long. This one I got from Fashion Q, and I just recently wore this to a graduation party with just like a white tank top. Really comes in handy for nice events like that. You can wear them with heels or sandals. This is also nice for vacation when you just wanna throw it on over your bathing suit or something on the beach. Okay, now we're moving on to shorts. Honestly, just get a light wash, a dark wash, and then just black shorts. That's all you need. I definitely have a lot of shorts. I'm guilty of that, but they're not like essential. They just have like different kind of like styles to them. These are the basic shorts that you just need in your closet and that's pretty much it. That's all you need. I got these shorts from Aeropostale. I was sleeping on Aeropostale jeans because actually Aeropostale in general, because I went into the store for the first time. I had never shopped there. I was looking for some denim shorts and I was like desperate. I had never been here before but I was willing to give it a shot I went in the dressing room and oh my gosh these are so comfortable and I love the way they're fitted because honestly I'm not a fan of like when they fold when the shorts fold at the bottom I prefer the more stressed kind of look and I just couldn't find any ripped shorts that had this kind of vibe like this was the vibe I was looking for but they just hug me in all the right ways I love where the rips are at they're at the perfect spot the waist is super comfy because it's not too tight but it's also not too loose it definitely gives me enough room for when I bloat later like when I start eating and I just love these shorts so much I decided to get it in a darker wash so these are also from Aeropostale same exact type of jeans they're just darker again I think it's really good to have both light wash and dark wash you only need one of these but I like to try on both of them just so I could show you guys what they look like because some people are more of light wash people and some people are more dark wash I used to be the dark wash girl like I would only wear dark wash and and now I just always wear light wash, but I think it's really good to still have the option because sometimes I do wear these. And then there's nothing wrong with having a good old pair of black jean shorts. I don't wear them that much, but I think it's very essential around like Halloween time. <laughs> Because like I have worn these shorts for so many like DIY outfits for Halloween like last minute ideas And also I think they would be really cool for like a night out if you just want to be comfy Like you don't want to wear a skirt or anything, but it's also going to be really hot This is a good idea to wear with like heels or something. I got these from Goodwill, but the brand is Refuge Refuge I don't know but if you're not the black shorts girly then you know these aren't really a closet staple for you they're not really a closet staple for me but I just figured I would show you guys just in case like it could be for you moving on to pants 
just get yourself some really comfy jeans. That's it. You just need one pair of jeans. And it doesn't matter what the jeans look like as long as you know that they're gonna be like your everyday jeans. You should definitely have one of those. These are like pretty much my go-to for the summer. I do have a go-to for the winter, but I'm not gonna show them. These are more like wide-legged. I also got these from Goodwill. I've shown them in a lot of videos because I just, these are just my favorite jeans. They're the comfiest jeans I own. They pretty much feel like leggings, super stretchy, very soft material. The brand is RSQ jeans and they're the whole leg cropped jeans. So yeah, as long as you just have like one pair of jeans, you'll be good. But again, if you want to elevate it a little bit, I think it's also essential to have flare jeans just because they're like such in trend right now. I got these flare jeans from Hollister. They're called the High Rise Vintage Flare. So, so comfy. Like honestly, if you guys want flared jeans that are like still affordable, but really good material, go to Hollister. I'm pretty sure they still sell it because like it hasn't gone out of trend yet. Yet. And honestly, this is really nice for when you want to go to like a nice dinner But you still want to wear jeans like it's not too fancy But I feel like the flared look gives it a little more of like an elegant look I have worn these to like dinner like birthday dinners or something and I think they look really cute with any kind of shoes Yeah, go ahead and get yourself some flared jeans Okay, so again with the going out theme you definitely just need some leather pants It doesn't matter what style it is. It doesn't matter if you like baggy more fit me personally I like flared because I again I think it just looks more elegant but these go so well with cute tops especially like tops with like a bunch of different new patterns and it's a great way for you to still look like you're ready for a night out while still looking warm rather than like wearing a skirt when it's like super cold these are so comfy you can find a bunch of leather pants like this on Amazon they have a variety of options so definitely go check it out another list that I have for pants is just you kind of need some like comfy cargo pants these ones are white and they're more cottony material like very very soft I got these from Hollister so if you guys are looking for some really good bottoms I suggest Hollister that's usually where I get my bottoms because they are really affordable these were pretty expensive though they were like $60 but honestly very worth it because I went to so many different stores and I could not find pants that were as good as these ones I'm so glad I bought them definitely worth the money they have like pockets where it kind of looks like cargo style and I think this would be really cute for something simple like a boat ride or walking on the beach this is definitely another vacation staple but yeah I always think it's really good just to have white bottoms so even if you get white jeans or if you get white pants like this either way works I just think having something like white for your bottoms is like a closet staple because again white goes with everything okay last but not least you just need you just need some leggings that's it just get yourself some leggings everybody should have leggings if you don't really like the look of leggings I suggest you get flared leggings I love the look of flared I also have regular leggings and like also like capri leggings I also have biker shorts there's just so many different kinds of leggings that you can get so just find your style and have at least one pair of leggings in there these are just for like chilling around the house or running errands the loungewear is like that's a trend now people are making loungewear looks so fashionable put a plain crop t-shirt on throw some glasses on put some jewelry and then wear your nike air forces it's a look especially if you put on like gold hoop earrings and have like the clean girl look this is definitely something that you should have in your closet and i think flared leggings are cuter and more on trend these leggings are so comfortable i got them from old navy and i've been trying so hard to get them in different colors but they're just always sold out i always go and they never have my size it just snatches you and and it's not like it doesn't like you know like it doesn't feel like you can't breathe they do kind of stretch a little over time but I just think these are a lifesaver when I just want to throw something comfy on and still look presentable okay I think that is pretty much it those are all of the closet staples that you should have I know that usually when people make videos like this they only show like six to ten items and ideally that's what you call closet staples is when it's only like a few things that you must have in your closet but I just wanted to give you guys a variety of things because I wanted to show you guys in different colors so not everything that I showed is for sure a closet staple that you need to have definitely think at least one item from each category category is a must-have but yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I gave you guys some ideas of new things that you need to put in your closet so happy shopping and happy summer thank you so much I will see you guys later bye